Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to tell you how to change the SSD which is installed in this Steam Deck. This is very a simple process. As you know, this Steam Deck is a 64 GB base model and all the models of Steam Deck comes with the same configuration except for the inbuilt memory. This is a cheapest Steam Deck available as of now in the market with 64 GB of hard disk. In this video guys, I am going to tell you how to change your internal 64 GB SSD to this 2 terabyte solid state drive generation 4 which is there from DD link I will put the link of this SSD in the description below just in case if you want to purchase so guys ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys, before starting with the installation, first thing you need to do is shut down your Steam Deck properly. To do that, you need to hit the power button onto the top right corner to power this on, just in case you are using it already. Then hit the Steam button onto the left, scroll all the way down where it says power and hit A. And then you have an option to shut down, click on A again, and it will ask you to confirm, just confirm it. So as you can see, it is shutting down. Please wait until your Steam Deck is fully shut down. So as you can see, my Steam Deck is now shut down properly. Next thing you need to do is to remove the SD card, if any, if you have already installed. I have a 512 GB SSD installed onto the back. I will remove it. Now, next thing that you need to do is turn this all the way to the back. Here you have eight screws that you need to open. One, two, three four five six seven and eight this will help you to take out the back cover that is the first step that you need to do let's using the phillips screwdriver quickly remove the screws the outside screws are a little longer than the central screws so ensure that you keep them separately So once your screws are all removed, next thing that you need to do is using any plastic card that you have spare into your house, you can start opening the steam deck from the sides. Using the sides of the plastic guys, you can start opening where the trigger is. So you just insert it and place it all to the sides and it will click open your back like this. So once you have opened the back cover, you have to open four more screws. There is one here, one here, one here, and one on to the bottom of this sticker that you see. So let's quickly open those. So once you have removed the plate, you will expose the NVMe SSD, which is installed already onto this Steam Deck. So the first thing that you need to do is to unscrew this SSD. So using your Phillips screwdriver, you can unscrew this SSD. Let's quickly do that. Remove this one screw and then as you can see it is lifted up. All you need to do is slide it out and then remove the top cover. Now you open your new SSD that you purchased. As you can see guys this is a 2TB SSD that I am going to install onto this Steam Deck. Let's open this. As you know this is a Gen 4 so this will be a lot faster SSD than what you have by default install onto your steam deck so next thing that you need to do is cover this up again as you can see now that we have removed the heat sink cover from your older ssd now install it onto your newer ssd this is my 2tb newer ssd that i am going to install ensure that these two top notches aligns with the top side of the ssd and the flat side in, is aligned onto the bottom so that it is installed correctly wrap it up all the way onto the back and stick it as you can see your now ssd is ready to be installed here you can see the ssd card slot where you have one notch you need to match it with the notch do not install this onto the reverse side so the first thing you need to do to install is push it onto this slot like this and your ssd will be elevated now you need to push it down and then install back your screw to hold your SSD down. Just like this. Now your SSD installation is complete. Now you can put back the top cover. I 
have the top cover like this onto its place and then all the screws and the last one here which is below the sticker and stick back the sticker and then lastly what you can do is to install back the top side cover so guys as you can see i have already put the back cover on after installing the internal ssd and also i have already installed the operating system back onto this ssd i have done a separate video guys on how to install the steam deck os back onto your new nvme ssd if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out now let's quickly turn this on and check the internal storage so we'll hit the power button so to check the storage you have to hit steam go back all the way down onto settings press a now you have to scroll all the way down where it says storage so here you can see i have the storage and here i have a 1.8 tb internal drive and a micro sd card of 568.9 gb so technically on this steam deck i already have installed 2.5 terabyte which is sufficient but in my future video guys i will also tell you how to increase the storage further on to around 4.5 tb so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those future videos so this is it guys this is how you install the internal drive onto your steam deck i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies